Shark attacks are a rare and terrifying event, and when they do occur, they often go unwitnessed, leaving investigators to piece together the evidence to determine what happened. But in this case, we have a chilling first-hand account of a shark attack that was partly recorded on video by the victim himself. Get ready to witness the terrifying moments that Henry experienced as he came face to face with one of nature's most feared predators. So buckle up and brace yourself for the heart-pounding story of the terrifying shark attack on Henry Bourse. Welcome to Think Brighter. Hit the like button and subscribe. Henry Bourse was a man of many talents, with a passion for both the arts and the natural world. He was born and raised in Cape Town, South Africa, where he developed a love for the ocean and its inhabitants at an early age. As a child, he spent countless hours exploring the beaches and tide pools near his home, marveling at the diversity of marine life that could be found there. As he grew older, Henry's fascination with the ocean only deepened, and he began to explore its depths through scuba diving and underwater photography. His talent for capturing stunning images of marine life quickly earned him a reputation as one of the most skilled underwater photographers in the region, and his work began to gain recognition which had been featured in magazines and galleries around the world. But Henry's love of the arts was not limited to photography. He was also a gifted musician, with a passion for rock and roll that had been instilled in him by his father, a well-known local musician. As a teenager, Henry had formed his own band playing guitar and singing lead vocals in local clubs and venues around Cape Town. Despite his many talents, Henry remained humble and grounded, always eager to learn more and push himself further. He was known for his fearless nature and his willingness to take risks in pursuit of his passions, whether it was diving with sharks or performing on stage in front of a crowd. On that fateful day in November 1964, Henry Bourse was accompanied by a group of friends from the Port Ferry Manta Skin Diving Club, including his close friend Chris Fallows who would later become a renowned shark expert and conservationist. The group had set out from Simons Town on the east coast of Cape Town and traveled to the island of Lady Julia Percy, located off the coast of Victoria, Australia. Lady Julia Percy is a small, uninhabited volcanic island that was formed about 7 million years ago through underwater eruptions and is renowned for its stunning natural beauty and abundant marine life. The island is located within the Port Ferry Coastal Reserve and is a popular destination for divers and snorkelers, who come to explore its pristine waters and discover its many treasures. Additionally, the island provides habitat for rare seabirds and holds the largest breeding colony for the Australian fur seal. And as the saying goes, where there are seals, there are great white sharks. These majestic predators are an integral part of the island's ecosystem and add to its mystique. For Henry and his friends, the day started out like any other. They set out early in the morning, eager to explore the island's many reefs and underwater caves. Henry was particularly excited, as he had recently acquired a new underwater camera and was eager to test it out and capture some stunning images of the marine life found on the island. As they swam and explored the underwater world, the group had no idea that danger was lurking nearby. It wasn't until they spotted the telltale dorsal fin of one of the most feared predators in the ocean, an eight-foot great white shark, that they realized they were in serious trouble. Despite their best efforts to fend off the shark, it continued to circle and attack, leaving Henry and his friends with no choice but to fight for their lives. But they were no match for the powerful predator. It was only through sheer luck and the bravery of their fellow divers that they were able to make it back to the surface alive, where they were treated for their injuries and left to recover from the traumatic experience. Henry lost his left leg but survived the attack and went on to retell the story in his 1969 documentary film, Savage Shadows. The attack on Henry and his friends was a tragic event that sent shockwaves through the underwater photography and diving communities. The incident was a stark reminder of the inherent dangers of exploring the underwater world and the need to take precautions to ensure safety. However, despite the trauma of the attack, Henry's love and respect for the ocean remains undiminished. If anything, the experience only deepened Henry's appreciation for the beauty and majesty of the ocean, and his desire to explore its mysteries and capture its splendor on film. For Henry, the ocean was a source of inspiration, a canvas for his art, and a window into the wonders of the natural world. After the attack, Henry continued to pursue his passion for underwater photography, using his experiences to inspire others to appreciate and protect the ocean and its inhabitants.
He dedicated himself to educating the public about the importance of marine conservation, using his photographs and videos to showcase the beauty and diversity of the underwater world and to raise awareness of the threats that it faces. In the end, Henry's legacy is one of courage, creativity, and a deep appreciation for the wonders of the natural world. He was a true pioneer of underwater photography and a tireless advocate for marine conservation, and his work continues to inspire and motivate others to follow in his footsteps and explore the mysteries of the ocean. What impact do you think Henry's experience with the great white shark had on his passion for underwater photography and marine conservation? Let us know in the comments. Whether we're diving into the depths of the ocean or exploring the mysteries of the natural world in our own backyards, Henry's story reminds us of the importance of staying curious and following our passions wherever they may lead. So let's all take a page from Henry's book and continue to explore the world around us with an open mind and a sense of wonder. Let's work to protect the natural world and its inhabitants, and to inspire others to do the same. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video and remember to always stay curious. Click here to watch the terrifying truth of Travis the Killer Chimp.